Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Left 4 Dead 2 mapping tutorial, part 5. Um, as you can see, we're not using our uh, continue, we're not going to continue on with the campaign we're making. Instead, we're going to talk about um, manipulating like the brushes as well as rotating objects because if you've ever tried to rotate objects in a hammer before, you know it can be quite difficult. So, the first thing we're going to do is I've already selected the dev texture the gray dev texture. And I'm just going to create a quick block really quick. Alright. So you have our select tool selected. The first thing that you'll see, this is the scale tool. It allows you to scale the brushes, obviously. Uh, if you click it again, you get the rotate tool. Uh, one thing I want to note is uh, how if you want to turn it Select that again. Alright, if you want to rotate it 90 degrees, notice how it says 512 here, 512 here. Uh, 90 degrees would be where it would, they would say 512 again. Which might be kind of hard to get it to line up correctly. There we go. Now I've rotated it 512 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry. 90 degrees. Alright, the next tool is the skewer tool. Skewer. I believe I say that correctly. Alright. Um, don't really use this tool that much, but I'm not really a level designer, so maybe I don't know its uses. I'll put that back. All right. So that's a quick little introduction to that. Um, just kind of experiment and play around with it. But if you're having problems rotating, you can zoom in and try to get the dotted dotted lines to line up correctly. Or you can just look at the two degrees and know that when this degree is over here and that when this degree is over here, you've rotated it 90 degrees. Assuming you're having problems, like say when you have the door prop and you're trying to rotate the door perfectly. All right. The other tool is uh, that I'm going to talk about, and it'll be the last thing. This is a kind of quick tutorial. Is the vertex manipulation tool, and this allows you to change individual vertices of the brush and you can just kind of drag the vertices anywhere you'd like All right. now as you can see right now um, the, the brush is still as it was before uh, if you want to apply these changes just switch switch tools and as you can see, the changes that we've made in vertex manipulation have been added. Um, once you've changed it, they cannot be unchanged. Or, sorry, they cannot be undone. All right. So that concludes this uh, rather simple and short tutorial. I uh, hope it was helpful. Thanks.